The Butterfly House by Sarah Eleanor John Loton took Matteo's hand. I'll look after you, said Loton. But butterflies aren't scary. Pretty, said Matteo. Pretty butterfly. He was pointing at a sign that said the Butterfly House. There was a picture of a butterfly on it. Yes, said Mummy. That butterfly is very pretty, isn't it, Matteo? Shall we go inside and see? Yes, said Matteo. They walked down a path to a big building. It's all made of glass, said Loton. It's round, said Matteo. Can you see all the plants here? asked Mummy. And there, too, inside the building. Why are there plants inside? asked Matteo. I think it's so the butterflies can live on them, said Mommy. It was very warm inside the butterfly house. Hot, said Matteo, unzipping his jacket. Mommy took his jacket and put it away. Hello, said a lady. Here is a list of butterflies to look out for. Thank you, said Loton. He looked at the paper. There are different types of butterflies here, he said. Look, Matteo. Pretty, said Matteo, pointing at a picture of a black and orange striped butterfly. That is a pretty one. We call them orange tiger butterflies, said the lady. And they're right here. Come, Loton, said Matteo. Go see pretty butterfly. They ran past the trickling water feature, which had lots of tropical plants growing nearby. It was like being in an inside jungle. There, said Loton. There was an orange tiger butterfly. When it flew away, Matteo called out, Wow, look, giant snail! The snail was sliding along on the ground. It was bigger than Mummy's hand. Look at this, said Loton. Centipedes! They were crawling around in a case. Matteo liked looking at them, but he was quite glad that they were behind a window because they were very wiggly and fast. Mummy said, Come on, there's lots more to look at. What's next? They ran along and Matteo suddenly stopped. Look, he said, it's looking at me. Sure enough, there was a big, round eye glaring at them. Uh-oh, said Loton. Mummy, I think it's mad at us. Mummy looked, and then she smiled. No, she said, it's not mad at you. It's not even looking at you. Yes, it is, said Loton. Look, Mummy, said Matteo. See there. He pointed to the big eye. Owl! I see it, said Mummy, but it's not an owl. Look at your paper. They looked at the papers and said, Oh, at the same time. It's just a shape on a butterfly's wings, said Loton. That's right, said Mummy. Why? asked Matteo. Other animals see the eyes and think the butterfly is watching them, said Mummy. So they leave the butterfly alone. But Matteo had already spotted another butterfly. Big brown butterfly, he said. 
Loton laughed. That one is a moth, Matteo, not a butterfly. Looks like a butterfly, said Matteo. It's similar, said Loton. But moths fly at night. Night butterfly, said Matteo. Moth? Yes, said Loton. And this one is a giant atlas moth. They kept exploring and slowly Loton and Matteo ticked off all the butterflies on their papers. Except one. A glasswing butterfly, said Mommy, reading the description. No wonder we haven't spotted it. It's mostly see-through. They looked and looked but couldn't see the glasswing butterfly anywhere. Finally, Mummy said, It's getting late and we have to get home. Loton and Matteo were sad, but they were pretty tired. OK, said Loton. OK, said Matteo. But then, just as they were by the door, Matteo stopped and pointed up. Look, Mummy, he said. Look, Loton. It was a glass-wing butterfly floating through the air. The butterfly came down and landed on the end of Matteo's finger. He's come to say goodbye to you, said Mom. The End mm -hmm.